Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sam and welcome to my video. Today I have for you guys a first impressions haul new slash maybe not new. Uh, yeah, this is kind of like a first impressions video. I don't know what I'm going to call it. I don't know what it is. But welcome to my video. I purchased a couple of products from Target uh, recently and I tried to get a full face worth of drugstore makeup but uh, that was not the case. Um, so I got as much stuff that I can to do a full face and then whatever I didn't have or I don't have I substituted with drugstore makeup that I already have so this would in all be a drugstore makeup tutorial and if you guys want to see what I thought of these products how these products perform my first impressions of it how I got this look all the above please keep watching Alrighty, everybody so I'm actually going to get started with like moisturizer and SPF and stuff so I'm gonna use first my face cream by Mix Easy. So this is a really cool brand. You can custom create your own skincare. And this moisturizer is actually, I think, the most moisturizing moisture, like the most hydrating moisturizer I think I've ever used. And I'm just gonna hit my face with some SPF, same brand. So I do recommend this. I recommend both products. Duh. I have an affiliate um, code with them. So if you guys are interested in any of the products, definitely check them out if you want. If you want to, uh, my code is Sam15. It's right there in the description box. So there is my base. So I just want to start off with that, just so I can get that out of the way, so I can have that just like soaking in while I talk to you guys. <clears throat> She's back. So I got some stuff from Target from the drugstore. Some things that are new to me. I don't know if they're new in the beauty world, so new to me so it's gonna be uh the video is gonna be kind of like a first impressions i guess yeah so i, let's see what I, got. I don't even remember what i got to but you guys so i'm gonna get started on my foundation so like i said the foundation is the milani screen queen uh natural finish foundation in the shade of 430 toasted to luminous natural skin finish buildable light to medium coverage and long wear awesome i love light to medium so i just put that like a little bit like half a square i think in my hand stop it right now this color looks really good it's blending it's definitely light to medium coverage it's blending out very easily. The texture is very beautiful. It looks very beautiful. So far, it looks very natural, actually. So I'm going to use a full pump. I want to see where that takes me. Definitely buildable. It is oxidizing a bit, so I see more of a color change, but it's still a lot better than most. Dark. Maybe a shade too dark, but it does, it looks good. This is as close as I can get. So I have the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in two shades. I have the shades Golden Dore. Oh no, Golden and Tan. I did not dampen it because I'm not trying to get up right now. But whatever. All right, so I'm going to go in now with my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Makeup Stick Contour in the shade 806. Where's Walnut? Um, this is the Elf Halo Glow Setting Powder in the shade Medium. 
so it's cute. Comes with like a little thing there. The color of it doesn't look so bad. I don't know. I'm nervous, guys. I'm nervous. Take a little bit of that. Looks really pretty. So far. So far, let's see how it holds up. But so far, it's everything. I do set my face very lightly, though, uh, to begin with. Alrighty, it comes with a spoolie. That's awesome. Um, the tip of it looks like. my eyebrow end up like down here you know what I mean the product I don't know may be a little too malleable this is not a drugstore brow gel I don't own any so I'm so sorry and I hate I hate when people do like oh drugstore makeup tutorial and there's like five products that you can find online but not in the drugstore but it's like a good price and like two products that people just use and they just can't not like use in their makeup routine that's high end I hate that okay so I'm gonna just prime my eyes there was absolutely no product on my brush um now I'm going to go into that Milani palette the Gilded Nude. God, this mirror is really good. I think it's better than my actual mirror. Wait, hold up. Okay, palette. I'm gonna take the shade uh, Do Not Disturb. Anyways, to the average consumer, this is actually like a very appealing palette. And I, so far, I would recommend it. And do that. Now, Disturb Shade again and blend that up. So I think I'm just gonna take the shade called Me Time in the palette and also put that like probably like near my brow bone or something. That's the shade there. Which is kind of what I want. I don't really know if that did anything. Comment below if you think that did anything. The eye primer one more time. And I'm going to cut my crease. I'm going to put stuff over it. A little, little brush this time with that shade, with that same darker shade and chill. Did I ever say that? I don't think I ever did. Okay. And I'm gonna basically go back to where it is that I was blending out the brown from before and right where like that shade is where um, my, my eye base stopped, where I carved it out. I'm just gonna go back in and define it. Sunny. Right there. Ooh, right there. And I'm gonna just spray my brush to make it more 
vibrant. Start. Filling that in. And the shade keeps growing from the palette. And put in my outer. And I'm going to take the shade Detox, also from that palette, and just put it in right there. This shade is actually very interesting because in the palette it looks kind of like a slatish gray sparkly color but it comes off like gold a little bit the fallout only came with that one shade detox because it's more of like a chunky glittery shade the palette doesn't get that dark like the darkest shade isn't that dark so it's a little bit hard for me to make the cut crease a little bit darker so i guess we won't people watching from the same palette. And put that under there. So, no, I'm just gonna do lashes. So Maybelline, New York, the Falsies. Oh, huh, huh. this is the wand. Really, I tend to go for wands that look like this because the Better Than Sex mascara has this wand and that mascara works beautifully for my lashes. Dramatic length, volume, and lift. Double curve lifting brush. Demi Wispy's Studio Effects. So these were basically uh, curated by what well, they said by um, makeup artists. So they they're just like the regular Demi Wispy's, except the outer part has like I don't know, like it's thicker or the band or it just has like more of a like volume voluminous like lash effect at the corners so alrighty you guys so these are the lashes on I did put some um, bottom mascara I did use the same one um, I am going to line my eyes because these lashes and the glue and the band uh, played me yeah this is a girl powder cheeks on the go blush yeah I think it's in the shade bourbon street yep. destroyed in, it actually got destroyed in transit so I had to like push it back in, so I don't want to hold it up too high before it like goes off over my reflector. I never use this before on my face actually. Very pretty. I always do the same thing. I pick up some product on my brush, tap it off, rinse, repeat bronze up my face with this elf bronzer palette this is a deep one I swirl all of it like mix all of them now for highlighter I have the Maybelline Master Chrome by Face Studio Metallic Highlighter in the shade 100 Molten Gold. That's how that looks. I love this, like, I love Maybelline's highlighters. They're very pretty. 
This is a real like, ooh. Bomb.com type of and Nabella um, lip liner, their collab, so the lip liner. a nude for my skin tone in lip pencil form like good for her and that's the Milani keep it full nourishing lip plumper lip gloss in prismatic prismatic peach 03 just for the sake of the look in the video I'm gonna use my Mac powder just for the dark spots um, near my mouth. Alrighty guys, that's the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, this is a fun video. I don't I don't think I've ever done this on my channel where I do a haul or a haul or get some new stuff and just try it out and do first impressions on my channel. So if you guys like this type of video, please let me know in the comments and give this video a thumbs up. As far as the products go, I think I'm in love with like everything that I got, surprisingly. Mascara, great, definitely gonna use it again. Um, lip gloss, feels great, definitely not sticky at all in any which way. And the color is great. You don't see the big chunks of glitter, which is, I don't know how they did that, but that's great too. The lashes, very big and voluminous, uh, more so than I thought they would be, but they are very pretty. The e.l.f. powder, so natural so pretty the color is great and it's if if you use a lot of it i have a feeling that it would be kind of brightening too so i'm definitely going to use this again with the eyebrow pencil it seems pretty good like the color is is really good the color is really good um the application process i don't know uh to me it seems like a like the product is a little bit too malleable it glides on too easy so i'm gonna see how it it the eyeshadow palette the only complaint I had with this was um, that if, like, be careful with some colors, it seems like the darker color, this one, became a little bit blotchy or while I was like using it a lot and blending it out a lot. So that's the only complaint. Otherwise, it's really good. Like the shades in here, the mirror is really good. They're all like neutral, natural shades. Uh, the foundation, beautiful. I'm in love with it. Like I've had it on maybe for like 45 minutes, but I love it. The shade is so good. Um, thank you guys so much for watching my video. Um, definitely subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Uh, if you have any video ideas, I have a skincare video coming up right after this one. So stay tuned for that as well. But if you have any ideas, anything you want to see from me, please let me know. And have a great day. Bye.